Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Gaming XP100 here. Welcome back to more Crash Bandicoot today. Last time we beat the Fire Boss, um, which was surprisingly quite easy this time. Uh, and today we're starting the snow chamber. Yeah, that's it. So we've got a cutscene coming up now. Eventually. The Crash Bandicoot, eh? Oh, I've heard so much about you. And okay. Yes, the hero I have to blow away. <laughs> Seems like a bunch of hot air to me. No one cares what you think. Yeah, <clears throat> as I said, this was probably my favourite mask. Um, but again, um, this is probably the the camp mask of the group, if I say so. Uh, as you can see, it is pretty queer. Um, but you know, it doesn't matter. Is is probably the coolest looking though, besides the fire one. The worst looking is this Rocco. He's so boring. Oh great, we're using Crash's slutty sister again. In fact, this is probably one of my favourite levels in the game. It's like the skiing level. It's proper cool and all. Uh, it's pretty good. The only bad part is, is we're using Crush's sister. Great. My favourite. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, I quite like this level. I think I could go skiing in this music. Oh, I don't know, them guys again. It's been really annoying me recently. Uh, I've I've been getting a lot of text messages from O2 telling me to top up my credit, and I've had about they send me about a hundred a day, no joke. And it's really pissing me off now. I mean, I think I get the point. I need to top up, but this is just ridiculous. Honestly, they send me so many text messages saying to top up. It's like, yeah, I know I am gonna top up, but you know, just give me a chance. Straight away from when you run out of credit, they'll send you about ten. So yeah, besides that, um, today I just, well, just a normal day at school, my ball got kicked over, so that was gay. Um, and, um, yeah, um, I did a workout when I got back um, with Combat Crusader. Yeah, we went for a run and then we did like some workout at the park. Uh, then we went to Blockbusters to check out something, and then yeah, then we just went back really. So that was basically my day. Um, so yeah, I'm recording this afterwards. This is my best part. In fact, no, it's not skiing, is it? It's um, snowboarding, even better. So yeah, you bet. If you get, um, if you can get all through these flagpoles, you get um, a gem. Um, I think it's like this is meant to be like a kind of like a death route, but it, you don't need to die to to lose it. It already comes up, so I think it's just like an extra gem, really. But it's pretty cool. It's pretty easy. It's all you got to do, guys. Is a tip is just to follow um follow the apples. The apples will lead you to it. All the boxes or whatever, but they'll all lead you to the flagpoles, which is best the best thing really. So yeah, we're coming to the end of it now. Sometimes it used to be quite hard because you used to see one pole and you never used to know which side it would be on. But this time I kind of got the hang of it. So there we go, gem and a crystal. Let's hit that. And where's that down pole? All right, it's over here. So yeah, that's probably quite a fun level. Um, most of the levels after this, actually, in this chamber, are not my favourites. Especially one level, which is Coral Canyon, my absolute worst level on the game. Not only does it drag on, and not yeah, not only does it drag on, but it's also exceedingly boring. I mean, I I don't think I can even do that. Just a normal size level like this one. I don't think I could do it. Even just. I hate swimming levels in this game. I really do. They're my worst swimming games and swimming levels on er any game because the controls on it. I mean, when you stop, crashes goes flying into a night just box. I mean, that's no good, is it? See, so, yeah, that's pretty shit. But yeah, well. Anyway, so yeah, let's get our crystal and our gem away. Okay, now this is a level that many people didn't like or found it boring, and um, I find it quite hard it's quite challenging uh, it's quite a long level I wouldn't say it's too long the second kind of level like this level is quite long but I don't really find it too hard really the only part I don't like is the starting bit I'm not gonna ruin the dust yet but honestly wait till you guys see it if you I know you guys have played it before and you know what I'm gonna talk about but it's so boring now, I've got a lot of bottles and empty wrappers in my room right now I'm gonna have to clear this up afterwards Damn, that is actually a lot. I've got like two Fanta bottles and Coke bottles everywhere. <laughs> it's not very good, but 
，因为这什么？So yeah, tonight I think I'll probably just uh, maybe play on COD something for a bit, and then probably watch like Lord of the Rings or something for a bit, the third one. And yeah, maybe might play some football if I get the chance. And um, yeah, and I'll just see what happens from there really. And um, they'll plan the rest of it out. Yeah, this is the bit I'm talking about. Look how slow he, he does this. This is absolutely ridiculous. The amount of time, this is probably taking about an hour of the Lex play just to do. I mean, how long are we going to wait for this? It's just ridiculous. <sighs> I mean, in Crash 2, it used to fly across these things. In this, they just thought, oh, you know, we're just going to make this game pretty bad for you, so we're just going to make it really slow. And guess what they did? Yeah, I'm, I'm, pl I'm glad that I've got that power up, the spinny thing. Like I said out in my um, other video, this is the power up that I really needed because occasionally Crash's spin doesn't last long enough, so when I want to get an enemy, um, I'll normally spin before them and then I won't be able to get them, so it's kind of annoying. Yeah, so luckily I got that. But, um, yeah, there's a thing about this level as well that you guys should know if you don't know. But when if you're up on the, the bar there, uh, and normally it will make you go down, but actually... If you actually on the if you don't if you're not actually on the bars at the top and you try and jump up, it'll actually kill you. I I actually did not know this. I always thought that you just get up on the thing and it would just send you back down again, but apparently it doesn't. Uh, let's quickly get across here. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh crap! Just screw it. Just screw it. Yeah, it's actually quite a challenging bit to level. I don't really like these little sections when you got to go on these things. It's a good idea, but it's not my kind of thing, really. See, so yeah, I better go up here. <clears throat> Alright, come on. Right, I'm going to wait for this bottom one to go. You need to take quite a big leap over to the top bit. But as you know, it is kind of the later levels in the game, so it is going to get pretty hard from here. Alright, so luckily we just made it there. Um, and this is when we get introduced to the robot. This is like a little mech. It's quite good, but I'm not too keen on the suit mechanics. I think they're quite sensitive controls, so... Not really my favourite, but you know, it's, it's it's okay, you know. It's quite fun to... It's, it's quite fast, so that's quite good. It kind of reminds me, if you guys have ever watched Aliens before, it reminds me of that um, robot that um, she uses at the end of it. It kind of reminds me of that. Uh, that was a pretty cool part of the movie, so don't really mind it. Okay. These guys must have boring jobs. I mean, they, I hope they pay them. I hope Cortex pays them pretty well, because all they've got to do is just stand there and shoot. I mean, they don't even think about moving around. They just stand there and shoot. I mean, what are these things there? <sighs> he looks around, but he doesn't think to look forward. He sees you, but he just doesn't even notice you. And these little nerds on the computers, I mean... <laughs> what the heck? I didn't even touch him. Oh my days. I blame the game for that. The game... That's the game's fault. Not being, you know, hypocritical in the game, but I did not hear that. I have proof, evidence. Even these computer geeks can tell you that that was a uh, fluke. Looks like I will be getting the death route in this level. Not that I was going to get it anyway. Alright, let's get in. Hopefully I'll be able to reach the end of the level before the thingy ends, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to yet. Yeah, this is quite hard to aim for. Like I said, the controls on the aiming are quite sensitive, but look at what I got in there. I oh, got an extra life. Don't know where that came from, but <laughs> not going to complain. I'm just going to leg it across here. Okay, how am I meant to get across this? I'm trying to run and... Oh. Damn. <laughs> not good. Okay, let's try this again. I might try to shoot in that box, actually. Anyway, guys, I'm going to start here, so please like and subscribe, maybe drop a comment again. Don't forget to tune to my next episode when we'll be doing the next Crash Bandicoot level. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Game Next Bone 100 out.